Hello viewers, it's me Alan speaking. Nice sunny day on the 9th of August. Really lovely day today it is. Uh, washing's out and cat's out over there. Don't know where you can see it all. Just zoom in. Come on, zoom in. Ah, zooming in now. Just around the corner there. Anyway, more to the point, here is my new purchase, bought yesterday, it's a work zone generator set, it's a two stroke and it runs on 50 to 1, so it's quite a lean ratio of fuel. Here's the engine end of the generator. Nice little two stroke engine with pull cord start, recall start, rewind starter, whatever you like to call it. Nice suppressed plug cap, solid, really good, decent exhaust, as you would need on a generator to make it nice and quiet. This is the actual muffler guard in there is the actual exhaust itself. It's got a hot sticker on there saying to not touch it obviously because generators get hot and it burn your fingers and all sorts. It's uh, I mean, it's two stroke oil. 94 decibels and this is really much quieter this is in fact just to prove a point our lawnmower have here <coughs> four stroke four horsepower Briggs and Stratton sprint engine runs at 96 decibels 96 for the lawnmower, for the generator, two stroke, as I said, 94 decibels. Got a um, little instruction sticker there, tells you how to put the fuel in, that kind of thing. Uh, there's the, the panel, DC reset. AC reset, 12 volt DC power outlet, AC 230 volt power outlet, engine on off switch right there, engine choke control right there. Hello Molly, no puss cat. Should be fairly easy to start up. Oh, and this is on rubber mounts down there. I don't know if you can actually see inside the engine there. There's the fuel tap. It's a very hot day today, so it should run up quite easily. I hope. That's the generator end. That's the this wire here connected to that bolt there is the earth wire muffler outlet there just film inside the engine there get a rough idea as to what it looks like bought this yesterday and had a really nice discount on this. I won't say the price for obvious reasons, but I did have a discount on it nonetheless. And uh, it's a very nice little tool overall. 
another little thing I've just come across actually is that as it's a bit warm these stickers occasionally just want to come undone so I have to re-stick them down again otherwise they uh, peel up and that's the last thing we want for a new generator in a moment I do want to start this up oh it's got no fuel in the moment so I need to re I need to fuel up for the very first time the very first time with uh, 50 to 1 which I've already mixed up main fuel can there petrol fuel can there or for anyone American on YouTube gas fuel can I'm just going to put that in the generator in a moment or two another little thing I like to do actually is to show the difference between a tiny little two-stroke generator like that and a really big, big four-stroke generator like this. This is a conventional size generator because you've got a big solid plastic fuel tank, polyethylene most likely. It's a Generac generator powered by Honda. 16 amp sockets, not the usual 13 amp, which is what, incidentally, uh, this one is. I don't know if you can see this. Not easy filming and moving things about at the same time. That's 13 amp. And on this one here, this generator, just uh, zoom out a second, you can get a full picture, there we are. This is a big generator with 110 volt first of all, 16 amp, and 230 volt, 16 amp. And you've got a switch here to switch over from 230 volt to 110 volt. There's your fuel tap. This is a non runner, by the way. This generator. It is a non running generator set. The engine is a five and a half horse Honda GX160 overhead valve air cooled petrol and well as you can see it's clearly seen better days it's a bit rusted needs lots of attention needs a complete rebuild in fact actually that's the uh, just let's, uh, here we are on off switch for the engine you see, turn the engine off and turn the ignition on to start the engine, that's your uh, choke control right there, so you can choke the engine to start it. The f now, unlike conventional engines where you'd have a separate fuel tap on the tank, just going with a fuel line going to your carburetor, Honda have done things a bit differently. They've got an extra fuel tap on the carburetor itself. So you can shut the fuel off directly from the engine, not remotely from the generator fuel tank itself. But anyway, that's a different story. My generator my new, new, new generator has got a fuel tap on the tank as usual 
but no engine um, fuel stop fuel tap at all. It's just as it is, as you can see it here. That's how it would be. So anyway. Next video you'll see it running. Hopefully. Till then, video out.